My name is Cleve Carroll. I had a total right hip replacement done with Dr. Uh, Travis Van Dyke here at Orlando Orthopedics. Uh, the biz biggest thing for me has been he gave me quality of life back where I can actually walk and jog and get back to normal activities where I used to do prior to having the issue with the hip. What, what got me to that point was 20 years as a deputy sheriff and then 10 years in the military. I fell at Fort Devens, Massachusetts back in 2011. And it just kind of, I landed on my back and my hips and wrists. And that started the, the trauma with it. With mine, it got to the point to where I couldn't hardly bend over to put my shoes and socks on. Um, I pulled the lazy man's way. <laughs> Bought the shoes I could just kind of slip my feet into simply for the pain of the, the hurt that's in the, that was in the hip. Cleve came to me complaining of his hip pain, affecting him on a daily basis, and he was worried about his options of surgery versus non-surgery being a younger man. Um, after we went over his x-rays and talked about the options, uh, we decided that the direct hole hip arthroplasty would be his best option. I'm um, happy to say that at two weeks post-op, Cleve was walking in without a walker, even a cane. You know, with a smile on his face that he could now bend over and move his leg, cross his leg, and do things he hadn't done in a few months or even years. So I'm really happy for how Cleve's done. The pain in the hip, Dr. Van Dyke had told me that it would be gone when I woke up. And you know, you've lived with it for so long, it's like, okay, yeah, right. Um, but then when I woke up, I didn't have the pain in the hip no more. It was, like I said, it was the best decision I ever made in my entire life. It just gave me quality of life back. That was the very first thing I had told him when I came in to see him for my first checkup. I was almost in tears because I was like, thank you so much. I hugged his neck. I said, thank you so much for giving me quality of life back like you did. The thing that, that, that I liked most about Dr. Van Dyke when I first met him was it was kind of funny. He did wear cowboy boots. He wore cowboy boots the day of my surgery. <laughs> But it, it, it was his bedside manner because he come in and he introduced himself and the staff here was wonderful, uh, very helpful, very inquisitive, asking questions about, you know, different things, you know, what got me here. And he basically came in, introduced himself, um, shook my hand, sat down and tell me what got you here. And the most impressive thing to me of that whole conversation and everything he's done, he listens. That was the most impressive thing to me. He sat there and he never interrupted me. I went from what got me here to where I am today and he never interrupted me one time. And that was very impressive. I thought I have found the right doctor. And I, thought, and I said to myself right now, thank you Lord. Cause I knew I'd found the right doctor for me and what he wanted, where he wanted me to be. I spent probably a week with a dog, dog leash, raising my leg in and out of bed and getting in and out of the car. Um, and then the, with the physical therapy team here with Dr. Van Dyke, it was just amazing. Courtney and Ari was the two that I dealt with every time I came. They were really good motivators. Um, they took time to make sure that you understood the exercise that they were wanting you to do. And when you asked them questions, they would take time to explain to you, okay, by doing this, you're strengthening this. And take that leap of faith and step out and see see what the doctors can do now especially i mean I, I don't know anything about the other doctors in this clinic other than dr van dyke you know but he was uh it was definitely worth the step for me take it try it i mean it can't one thing about it it can't make you no worse than what you already are all you can do is get better when you hit rock bottom you got nowhere to go but up